Okay, this is a gas fire working. I don't know if you guys can see it out there, a little bit of a flame. Kind of come under. Obviously, it's dark, it shows up during the day, you can't even see it. I have the fan turned way down, I'm just kind of lumbering through, but it's a nice blue, clean flame, indicating lots of hydrogen. And I suppose methane is kind of bluish too. I don't know what color carbon monoxide is. But, uh, anyway, what I got here is uh, this is a cooler, and the front zigzag grid, and then of course the cyclone. And then I got the uh, fire pot or the ash pot section of it. I made this in a modular format. I have the hopper and then the reactor module. And then below that, it bolts down to the ash module or whatever you want to call it, the bottom section. Here's the clean out. It's uh, like four inch. You can reach in with your hand really easily. Clean when the time comes. I use a shop vac to suck out all of the biochar. Works really well. This valve here runs up through the side or up the side of the unit into the top. Uh, what it is is just to drain condensation out. And this is a propane bottle. I flipped it, inverted it, and then cut the sections, uh, cut it out at about 18 inches, if I remember correctly, and then started machining my flanges and then build it up from there. This is the bottom of the propane tank. Originally, these are just skip welded, you know, about three places or so. I went ahead and filled it in the rest of the way around. Kind of hard to weld, it was pretty dirty. Then I made a top, and it's basically, you know, on a hinge point. And it has a, uh, and this best is fire seal ring that they use in a wood stove, modern wood stove, fiberglass based. That's the intake port valve. And where the vice grips are is the fire, the port where I'd start the fire or start the gas fire up. Now over here, on this side of the system, of course this is the fan, it's pulling a vacuum or pulling suction through the gas fire. And this is a filter cooler arrangement uh, that I built for my first gas I fired. And what, uh, normally I put, uh, you know, wood shavings or something inside of it, but it's a two unit. It cools on, comes in through the side here and runs down these pipes and down through the bottom then back up through this center. There's a center tube in here and then on up through into the suction. It works out really well. This valve here is the valve that I'll attach to the engine. In which case it'll be a small bridge of Stratton to run a Either a you know a, a small alternator, small I mean 100 amp, 150 amp alternator, something like that, to charge batteries for my batteries house over there. And I thought, well, what the heck? I got the time and I got all the junk to make it. I'm able to put it together. So I went ahead and did it. It seems like it's working pretty well. I learned a lot from my first one. Well, one of the fun things that I found out today that I was fighting and didn't even realize that there's a fitting a hole here on this fan. This fan came off of a Ford truck, and it had a hell of an air leak right here, and it was sucking air in, and it was diluting the gas on. I couldn't get it to burn with a dam. At times, it burned fine, but then other times, it wouldn't burn with a dam. Once I plugged that, all my problems went away. Thing starts making gas within about a minute and a half after I start it, so it works really well. Now, this... Uh, I don't know if you can see it very well. This is my first gasifier, and I kind of stripped some parts off of it. But it's a triple wall arrangement. The idea is to heat the incoming gas or the ambient air through these fittings. There's three of them. And then there's uh, three, I believe. Yeah, you know, three. Three air fittings. But uh, I lined it with stainless, and uh, the fire very bottom is made up of brake drum, cast uh, steel to hold up to the heat and stuff. And then this fitting here on the top was the uh, to catch condensate out of it, and that didn't work very damn either. But uh, clean out, and the router's on the bottom, and that there so was the lighting port. Now, on this one here, the the bigger unit, I have a pair of vice grips down there. If you can see that, I'm looking at the right thing here. Yeah. Well, okay. There's a shaft that comes out of the bottom of that. That's the top of the propane tank. And I rigged up a shaft through there 
to uh, rattle the bottom of the grate. And the internals of this are, it has a grate and an inverted funnel for the reducing area of the uh, module. And that's that center section. Again, it's always one unit. And what it does, that module, and that grate sits down on a lever arm. It has a pin sticking up that interlaces with the grate. And that allows me to shake the grate. Works pretty well. And eventually, I'm going to rig up a handle on that to rattle it rather than have to reach underneath it. Or maybe a solenoid on a timing circuit to rattle the grate every, you know, 10, 15 minutes. Something like that. And, of course, it'll be all self-contained because it'll be running off a battery bank and a generator. So it'll be all based on 12 volt. And uh, kind of get an idea of wood consumption. It actually does really well. I'm surprised. I, my first one went through wood a lot, like real fast. But this thing seems to be pretty conservative on the consumption and produces good gas. But, but there I am talking away, and the flame went out. So now I'm gonna end this video and go relight the flame. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Talk to you later.